So it's uh, 6.30 at night and I'm already in bed. The reason I'm already in bed at 6.30 at night is because for the past two weeks I've been getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning to go to work. So I can be there for 6 a.m. to be done by 2.30 in the afternoon. Which is not a bad shift, but 4 o'clock in the morning comes awfully early. Now if you look at my appearance, you can see that I haven't shaved today. When I got up this morning, I realized I hadn't had a shower in a few days. and Even though I felt fine, <laughs> I know that uh, I probably don't smell that great. And uh, it doesn't bother me any. Mostly I work alone, but I do share a lunchroom. <laughs> and I'm in the office quite a bit with people interacting closely with drivers and stuff. So it's best my presence not offend people. <sighs> Plus I don't really like to have bad hygiene. But I'm not... I don't think about showering as much because I don't feel dirty. I don't feel gungy or gross usually at the end of my shift. Um, but my work that I'm doing is not hot and sweaty. And especially on days like today. It was minus 30 today. Or maybe it was only minus 28. Only minus 28. <laughs> and it was only minus 28 yesterday too. And tomorrow is also going to be the same. And if it warms up to minus 21, that's still pretty bloody cold. Anyway, mostly my work is, well, my work is all indoors, but uh, I load trucks inside of a bay, and the bay is not heated. <laughs> so if it's minus 28 outside, it's minus 28 in that bay. My fingers are going to fall off today. Anyway, I'm a little bit um, depressed these days because... I'm just not sure what I'm supposed to be doing as a person. I'm not sure how to push forward as my feminine self. I want that to be more prominent. And I just don't know how to how to move the ball forward any more than what we're doing right now. It's very, I feel stalled out again. I'm not sure if I should be dating anyone, or if I am dating anyone, if I should try to be dating men or try to date women. I almost had a boyfriend, and he was so stupid, and I just couldn't stand looking at his face after a while. Because he was so stupid and so selfish. And it's like, all you have to do is put in this much effort. And, but no, he does not participate. Okay, then. <laughs> I'll just move on from you. But the frustrating thing with that is it's not like I have any alternatives. Um, but nothing is better than I don't participate. So I'll go back to nothing. That's better for me. But it's still quite depressing though. I'm still trying to process my anger and use it constructively because I'm always torn between being angry about what I lost and what I don't have and the choices I wasn't given to being grateful that at least I'm in a place where I can do something about it and I feel somewhat safe. If I was in Texas right now, I would not feel safe. If I was in Florida or in Montana, I would not feel safe. It is very frustrating 
Uh, however, I'm thinking about the. Uh, I watched a program today called Sex Planet on on Prime, and it's about this actress, and she's they <laughs> are exploring their sexuality and their gender identity and the whole nine yards, and they went through a very good presentation on how the different gender identities can work or not. And this is information I really could have used back in high school, in elementary school. It helps put things in perspective a lot. There's a town in Mexico where, I forget the name of the town, but she said it on her special. And there's people there called Mushu, I think which is non-binary people or people who present as either or or both at the same time. And there's like a community where there's a concentration of these people. And it shows them going to church, <laughs> singing hymns. I'm like, <sighs> suddenly I want to move to Mexico. I hope we have more of those communities, and I hope that more of my kind um, show up. And there's actually quite a few in my town that I know who are stealth. You can't tell what they are one way or the other, or what they were, unless they tell you. Um, which is wonderful for them. <laughs> I just, I'll never be one of them, it doesn't seem. Somebody who can go stealth. It's very frustrating. I don't feel like I have a lot of options when it comes to employment, when it comes to dating. When it comes to where I'm going to go next with my life, I feel very, very limited. It's. I am definitely depressed about that. I'm hoping this state of law of depression of not knowing what I'm going to do next and not feeling confident in the moves I'm making at the moment other than I'm reasonably confident I'm doing everything that I can reasonably do but I'm probably missing something somewhere feels like there's a piece of the puzzle that's just not here yet and I don't know where it is Anyway, I don't really like these Darcy's Corners when I'm laying down on my side like this, but I'm just so incredibly tired. And uh, I wanted to do this in my bedroom because I didn't want to do it in the living room. Just in case, while I was in the middle of this, uh, my roommate came home and, like, you know, disturbed the vibe. Although, really, the, the vibe right now is kind of depressed, so I don't know if they can disturb that, but anyway... I need to get better settings to record these little info sessions. I'm not sure where I'm going to do that. Anyway, Darcy's Corner. Peace.